Okay, it is November 24th. And it is morning. I'm at mom's house. It's about 9. Let's see, it's 9.52 a.m. I'm on fall, or not fall break, Thanksgiving break. It's Thanksgiving tomorrow. Happy early Thanksgiving to all y'all. This is uh, the vlog 13. I'm at my mom's house, like I said. I'm just doing a vlog about our new dog because we got a new dog at my mom's house. She's actually right here. Her name is Mia, she's a puppy. Hey, don't eat the plant. <laughs> anyway, she's she's our new dog. We were at my mom's house, our old dog, Belle, who passed away this spring. We had to put her down. We were missing her again, so we kind of got a new dog here. And it's a, a golden doodle, but she's not gold, she's black. So she's got white paws. She's a puppy, she's probably hmm, a little over two months old because her birthday was September 11th, 2021, so and it's November 24th, so it's actually pretty cool that I got her. Mia, come here. Her name is Mia. I don't know if I should have gotten you saw it over here. She's just hanging out over here. And then this is her garden. She's just definitely really cute. She's happy she's playful and we're happy to have her we got her a couple sundays ago she likes to chew on the shoes but we're teaching her not to and uh, she is teething a lot because her teeth are coming in so but she's really cute <laughs> she's so lovey and sweet and uh just want to do a vlog about that yeah we just we're really missing Belle, and a couple of weeks ago on November 3rd, my, at my dad's house, our cat Oreo had to be put down, but still been sad about that, but we, it helps to have a new dog at my mom's house. My dad's house, we don't have any dogs, just at my mom's house, we have a new dog now, and she likes to play around with this ball. Uh, she's chewing a frisbee right now. She likes to you know, yeah, play with those and all that. It's really cold this morning. It's in the lower 30s, upper 20s right now. Uh, we got our first freeze about a, a, almost a week ago. It's a little later than usual. But her, everything else is good. It's nice to have a little break from school because, yeah, I mean, high school is good, but we have our cherry trees over here still haven't lost their leaves completely, but the new sod where our pool used to be, then that's going to be rocks soon. And uh, the neighbors chopped down that tree uh, the, the, that was right here with all those water sprouts. That's what these are. They were like a box elder maple tree on this side, and then that trunk was right there. was a Russian olive tree with thorns. So that's what these leaves are from. The moon's out. It's over there. I don't know if you can see. That was pretty right there. And so yeah, cherry trees are doing good. And then over here, our autumn blaze maple tree lost all of its leaves and it's doing good. And we're gonna help this Mia play with the ball. She likes to do that. <laughs> oh, it's getting, oh, I think she just popped it. Oh, that's sad. Mia, you just popped your ball. <laughs> oh well. That's uh, for usually she plays with a bunch, but hasn't popped it. But she popped it. And that's <laughs> she's oh me. <laughs> that's actually kind of sad. That's okay. We got another ball. We might get her. Silly Mia. <laughs> oh well. Anyway, um, but over here we have a uh, this crimson. No, it's not a crimson king. It's a royal red northern maple tree. It's like a crimson king northern maple. <laughs> And this front throwing zone floor, we actually replaced it because it got, I can't remember what, it was a few, it was like a month or two ago. I haven't gotten to test it yet, but it's, uh, I forgot what it's called, but it's not a K-Rain Super Pro. It's like that, though. It's a little bit better. But, yeah. And then, I don't know what we're doing here. But that stump over there, we just have a bunch of dead stuff we're going to burn. And then, we got to, um, degrade the stump, or break down the stump a little bit more because the roots from it are still down there so we gotta kind of I don't know grind that down a little bit and then we'll go up on sod there and then 
got this tree. It's a type of maple. It's like an autumn blaze, but it's not. It's lost most of its leaves, but it's a, a red sunset maple. They're pretty. And then the swings are here. And uh, Mia's playing with her broken, deflated ball. <laughs> poor, poor ball. And the air conditioner's all covered up. Our new air conditioner we got. Because it's cool how this garden used to go all the way back there. And now it's just there. And added grass here. And then uh, sweet williams aren't really blooming anymore. I took out the lilies because they were just dead. But they'll come back in the spring, I'm pretty sure. And there's a sprinkle for zone one. Yeah, Mia's just still playing with that uh, popped ball. And then over here, we got these plants. I guess this one died, or that one's still alive. I can't believe it's still blooming. I really hope we get a good winter this year. Everything says we will, because, I mean, I hear things that say if you get a warmer than usual November, and uh, the flowers are still blooming in November, because I've seen dandelions blooming still. And other flowers. I think this bush is not doing well, but if things are still blooming in November, then it means uh, winter is going to be severe. Hopefully, we get a good winter though with a bunch of snow. And uh, I'll show you the front yard real quick. Our uh, tree here is good. It's uh, what was it? Let's see what it was. I can't remember. I think it was a Sienna Glen maple. It's actually a pretty big, big tree that we got. Like. It was like already big when I got it. Lost all of its leaves and then. Uh, let's see, these garden, this, most of the plants in here are kind of lost its leaves or whatever. And uh, this bush is pretty red. Last, it's lost its leaves. There's these flowers that are kind of done blooming. Those were yellow and those were red and then they lost their leaves. Cream puffs in the window. He's doing good, but he was growling at our other cat, Legend, and uh, I guess when male cats are, uh, hi Cream Puff, I guess he's in my old room, I guess when male cats are growling at each other and getting ready to fight, if you get in the way or try to stop them, they'll, they might bite you, and that's what Cream Puff did. He bit my mom, and then he bit Haley a few days later, <laughs> but they're okay, they just... Cream Puff usually is really nice. He never bites. He's really sweet. Like, look at him. He's he's sweet right now, huh, Cream Puff? Yeah. But I guess cats, the male cats are really ter are territorial. But here's our fly pole, and then over here is this flowering pear tree. I guess it's a flowering pear tree. It's a Cleveland Select flowering pear tree. But it's got its leaves still. They're red and they're pretty. So yeah, and, uh, and the bushes, we took out some of them over here because they died, but we got these ones still. We got the, the cat spruce there still, or whatever that kind of thing is. And then the uh, flowers here are coming back, but they're probably gonna die because it's gonna be winter soon. We still got some Thanksgiving stuff or whatever, and then, yeah, that's about it about our garden and about our, animals and how everything's doing. I'll go back in the backyard to check on Mia at my dad's house. Everything's well. Our other cats, Loki and Willow, are doing good. And the cat, the feral cat that comes by, Grace Strike, he's good too. And, uh, yeah, Mia might have went inside. <laughs> oh, nope, she's over there. <laughs> We got, she goes to the cat door, but she's a golden doodle, but with black fur, she's a rare type of golden doodle, but she's probably gonna get like, uh, pretty big, not able to fit through the cat door, so, right now she can. Hey Mia. Anyway, everything else has been pretty good. And, uh, yeah. Sucks that Oreo plant was put down because she was old and not doing well, but. At least we got a new dog and Christmas will be soon. Hope you all have a happy Thanksgiving and uh, if you want to do this video, I'll keep you updated.